honoring a legacy, the art of writing a heartfelt eulogy. Note this is coming from a relative novice on this topic, who learned when he needed to from GPT. I am not an expert on this topic. Question. How do I write a good eulogy? Response 1. Writing a eulogy is a deeply personal and often emotional task. A eulogy is a speech or piece of writing that praises someone or something highly, typically someone who has just died. It can be an opportunity to both celebrate the life of the deceased and offer comfort to those who are mourning. 1. Understanding the Purpose Celebration of life, acknowledge the life, achievements, relationships, and personality of the deceased. Comfort for mourners, offer words of solace and reflection for the family and friends who are grieving. 2. Gathering information. Biographical details, collect information on the deceased's life, such as their birthplace, education, career, hobbies, interests, and family life. Personal memories and anecdotes, speak to family and friends to gather personal stories and memories. Values and beliefs, reflect on the values, beliefs, and philosophies that guided the deceased's life. 3. Structuring the Eulogy Introduction. Start with an opening that captures attention and sets the tone. Body. Organize the main part into sections, focusing on different aspects of the person's life. Conclusion. Offer a closing thought that summarizes the essence of the person or offers a final tribute. 4. Writing techniques and style. Be authentic. Write in a tone that feels natural to you. Use descriptive language, paint a picture of the person through vivid descriptions and sensory details. Incorporate quotes or poems, use literature that resonates with the deceased's personality or philosophy. Avoid excessive formality, keep the language accessible and warm. 5. Revising and Practicing Review and edit. Look for grammatical errors, unclear passages, or areas that might need more detail. Practice aloud. Rehearse the eulogy several times to get comfortable with the flow and pace. Ask for feedback. Share the eulogy with a trusted friend or family member for input. 6. Delivering the eulogy. Print a copy, have a printed version handy in case you need to refer to it. Speak slowly and clearly, emotions may run high, so take your time. Use visual aids if necessary, pictures or videos can be a touching addition if appropriate. Remember it's okay to be emotional, if you need to pause or cry. That's completely acceptable. 7. Consider cultural and religious sensitivities. Respect traditions. Consider the cultural or religious context of the funeral service and make sure your eulogy aligns with any specific customs or traditions. 8. Post eulogy considerations. Offer a written copy, if requested. Provide a written copy to family members. Create a permanent tribute. Consider turning the eulogy into a keepsake by publishing it in a memorial program or online tribute. Remember, a eulogy is not just a summary of facts, it's a heartfelt reflection on a person's life and impact. Taking the time to thoughtfully craft a eulogy that reflects the uniqueness of the deceased can be a powerful way to honor them and provide comfort to those who are grieving. Question. 
suggestions to prevent voice from breaking emotionally while reading a eulogy. Response 2. Reading a eulogy is an emotional task, especially when you're paying tribute to someone you loved or admired. It's natural for emotions to well up, and your voice may break as a result. Here's how you can help maintain control over your voice and emotions during the reading. 1. Preparation and Practice Rehearse often. Familiarize yourself with the text by reading it aloud several times. Practice helps you gain control over your emotions. Read to someone you trust. Practice reading the eulogy to a friend or family member to become more comfortable with expressing emotions in front of others. Identify emotional triggers. Know the parts that may make you most emotional and practice extra on those, so you are better prepared. 2. Emotional Management Techniques Breathing techniques, deep and steady breaths can help you stay calm. Practice inhaling deeply, holding your breath for a few seconds, and then exhaling slowly. Mindfulness Techniques Focus on the present moment, grounding yourself by paying attention to your breath or body. Visualize success. Picture yourself reading the eulogy calmly and successfully. Use a focal point. If you feel overwhelmed, focus on a calming object or person in the room. 3. Practical Strategies Have a backup reader, if available. Have someone who can take over if you become too overwhelmed. Use a podium or lectern. Having something physical to lean on can give a sense of stability and comfort. Keep water nearby. Sip water if your throat becomes dry or tight. Pause if needed. It's okay to take a moment to collect yourself if you feel your emotions getting the better of you. Four. Remember the purpose. Embrace your emotions. Recognize that it's natural and acceptable to be emotional. The people listening understand and share your feelings. Focus on honoring the deceased. Think of the reading as a way to honor the person's memory rather than a performance. This perspective shift can reduce anxiety. Five. Physical Considerations Adopt a comfortable stance. Stand in a way that feels stable and balanced. Hold the paper steadily. If you're holding a paper, use both hands to minimize shaking if you feel emotional. 6. Counseling or Professional Support Seek professional help if needed. If you are extremely anxious or overwhelmed, Consider speaking with a counselor or coach who can provide personalized strategies. 7. After the eulogy. Allow yourself to grieve. Once the eulogy is done, allow yourself to experience your emotions fully. It's an essential part of the healing process. It's important to recognize that showing emotion is not a failure. The rawness and authenticity of your feelings can make the tribute more touching and real. However, using these strategies can help you maintain control so that you can communicate your thoughts and feelings in the way you wish to during this important moment. Question Suggestions for coming up with specific memories to cite in the eulogy Response 3 Including specific memories in a eulogy adds depth and personal touch, making the tribute more relatable and moving. Here are suggestions to help you come up with specific memories to cite in the eulogy. 1. Reflect on personal experiences. Special moments shared together. Think about holidays, celebrations, trips, 
or simple everyday moments that encapsulate the essence of the person. Lessons learned from the deceased reflect on the wisdom, guidance, or support they provided to you or others. Shared interests or activities remember hobbies or activities you enjoyed together and what made them special. 2. Consult with family and friends. Group reflection, gather with close family and friends to reminisce. Others may recall memories you have forgotten. Ask for anecdotes, reach out to those who knew the deceased well and ask for stories or shared experiences. Utilize social media, if appropriate, consider asking for memories on social media platforms where friends and extended family can contribute. 3. Review photos and keepsakes. Look through albums and videos, visual reminders can jog your memory and inspire you to include specific events or periods. Examine personal letters or emails, written communication can reveal insights into your relationship and shared experiences. 4. Consider their life's milestones and achievements. Career accomplishments, reflect on professional milestones, promotions, or significant work projects. Educational achievements, Consider their educational journey, graduations, or special academic recognitions. Community involvement. Think about their contributions to the community, volunteer work, or activism. 5. Think about their personality and values. Character traits. Recall instances that highlighted their kindness, humor, determination, or other defining traits. Values in action. Think of times when they demonstrated their core values, such as integrity, compassion, or resilience. 6. Consider their relationships. Family dynamics. Reflect on their roles as a parent, sibling, child, or spouse, in the special memories associated with these relationships. Friendships. Think about their friendships and any particularly meaningful interactions they had with friends. 7. Use a structured approach to jog your memory. Timeline method. Consider their life chronologically, moving through different stages to uncover specific memories. Themed approach, focus on different themes like family life, career, hobbies, and find memories associated with each. 8. Write freely and edit later. Brainstorm without judgment. Write down everything that comes to mind, no matter how insignificant it might seem. Later, you can select the most meaningful memories. 9. Ensure appropriateness. Consider the audience. Make sure that the memories you choose to include are appropriate for all attendees, considering age, relationship to the deceased, and cultural or religious context. 10. Incorporate symbolism or metaphor. Use symbols. Sometimes, an object or place may symbolize a larger aspect of their life or your relationship with them. Incorporate these symbols into your memories for a poetic touch. Remember, the goal is to paint a vivid and authentic picture of the person being remembered. Specific memories can serve as beautiful illustrations of who they were and why they were loved, resonating with others who knew them and providing insight for those who didn't. By taking time to delve into these memories, you'll create a more impactful and personal eulogy. Question. Prompt me through the themed approach to find specific memories to cite in the eulogy. Response 4. Certainly. 
The themed approach focuses on specific themes or aspects of a person's life, helping you explore memories and stories related to those areas. This can provide a rich and multifaceted understanding of your father's life and values. Here's how you can use this method. 1. Faith and Spiritual Life How did he express his faith in daily life? Can you recall specific instances of spiritual guidance, rituals, or community involvement? How did his faith influence his relationships with family and others? 2. Family and Relationships What are standout memories of him as a husband, father, grandfather, or friend? How did he show love, support, or wisdom in family matters? Can you remember special family gatherings, traditions, or vacations? 3. Career and Professional Ethics What stories or lessons from his career stand out? How did he approach challenges, successes, or failures in his professional life? Were there colleagues or mentors who had a significant impact on him? 4. Hobbies and Personal Interests What hobbies or interests did he pursue with passion? Can you recall specific projects, trips, or events related to these interests? How did he share or include others in these activities? 5. Education and Lifelong Learning How did he approach education, both formally and informally? What subjects or areas of study fascinated him? How did he foster a love of learning in others? 6. Community and Social Involvement What roles did he play in his community, social groups, or volunteer organizations? Can you think of specific contributions or impacts he made in these areas? How did he connect with neighbors, friends, and the wider community? 7. Character and Personal Values What core values defined him, example, integrity, kindness, resilience? Can you recall specific anecdotes that illustrate these values in action? How did he influence or inspire others through his character? 8. Health and Well-Being How did he approach health, fitness, or well-being throughout his life? Are there specific routines, habits, or philosophies he embraced? How did he handle health challenges or changes in later years? 9. Wisdom and Legacy What wisdom or advice did he often share? How has he left a lasting impact on you and others? What legacy or traditions would he want to be remembered for? Exploring these themes can lead you to specific memories, stories, and insights that capture the essence of your father's life. You might want to write down your thoughts and reflections as you consider each theme, focusing on those aspects that resonate most with you and those who will be listening to the eulogy. By integrating these memories, you'll create a rich and authentic tribute that honors your father's unique individuality and the life he lived. Question Prompt me through the timeline method to find specific memories to cite in the eulogy. Response 5 Certainly the timeline method helps you break down a person's life into different stages, making it easier to recall specific memories and events. Here's a guide to prompt you through this process. 1. Childhood What are your earliest memories of your father? Can you recall any family traditions, hobbies, or games he introduced to you? Are there stories from his own childhood that he shared with you? 2. Adolescence and young adulthood 
if applicable. What lessons did he teach you during your teenage years? Are there moments when he supported your education, hobbies, or friendships? How did he react to significant milestones like your graduation, first job, or other achievements? 3. Career and Professional Life What do you know about his early career, achievements, or challenges he overcame? How did he balance his professional life with family responsibilities? Were there specific work-related stories or ethics he passed on to you? 4. Marriage and Family Life Can you remember specific moments that showcase his love and commitment to your mother or other family members? How did he react to significant family events, such as weddings, anniversaries, or the birth of grandchildren? Are there special family traditions he initiated or maintained? 5. Community and Faith Life What roles did he play in his community, church, or other organizations? Can you recall specific acts of service, kindness, or leadership? How did he express his faith or values in everyday life? 6. Retirement and Later Years How did he spend his time during retirement? Any new hobbies or travel experiences? What wisdom or reflections did he share with you about aging or looking back on life? How did he continue to connect with family, friends, and his community? 7. Final Years and Legacy what were his attitudes and thoughts during his final years? How did he interact with friends and family towards the end? What lasting impact or legacy has he left behind in your life and the lives of others? By exploring these stages, you'll be able to uncover specific memories, anecdotes, and insights that provide a rich and multifaceted view of your father. These details will add depth to the eulogy, allowing others to see him through your eyes and connect with the essence of who he was. Feel free to write down your thoughts as you go through these prompts, and don't hesitate to delve into each one as deeply as you need to. Writing a eulogy is more than putting words on paper, it's a heartfelt tribute that captures the essence of a loved one's life. As we conclude this episode, remember to put a memory in that will make the audience laugh. They need it. Cognition chunks out.